Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at the Aris X2205 V2 motors. These motors are 2300 kV and come in clockwise and counterclockwise. But if you prefer them all one direction, they are sold separately as well. There's no fancy boxes here. The motors come in a single box and individually packed in bubble wrap. Whenever I see products with expensive packaging, I always ask myself how much money could have been saved if they packed it in something cheaper. With the X2205, it seems the money saved on the packaging definitely shows up in the actual product. Without a doubt, these are some quality motors. Alright, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Alright, so I'm just going to go over some of the features. First, we have some 22 gauge silicone wire. I measured them to be 5 inches long, which should be plenty long even if you're using a 4-in-1 ESC. They should just reach fine as long as it's going to be going on a 5 inch quad. The hollowed out steel shaft reduces weight. In addition, I read lots of material online stating that a hollow shaft can be stronger than a solid shaft depending on the environment. Here are some measurements. The bell is around an inch in diameter. That's around 27.7 millimeters and the shaft is 0.2 inches or 5 millimeters. And also the height of the motor is 0.64 inches or 16.4 millimeters. Next up the length of the shaft is 0.5 inches or 12.8 millimeters. These are aluminum nylon lock nuts and they are super lightweight just 0.64 grams each. Each motor minus the lock nut weighs just under 30 grams. On the bottom of these motors instead of a circlip these motors use hex head screws a 1.5 millimeter screw to be exact. I did have a little issue here I noticed that when I tighten this up the bell doesn't spin as freely and I barely tighten it to the point where I feel like it's possible that the screw might even fall off. I'll find out later when I go out for a test flight if this is even an issue. The bell was difficult to remove. It takes quite a bit of force to remove it for the first time but after you get it off the first time it should come right off. One thing to make a note of is the hex screw holding the motor together spins the opposite direction so if you're working on the counterclockwise motor you would spin the screw clockwise and vice versa. Let's remove the bell and see what it looks like inside. As you can see it's still held on pretty good. This is from the powerful N52 magnets which are arced to achieve even more performance. The arc shape allows the magnets to get as close as possible to the stator which results in increased power. The squiggly lines you see here are part of the cooling mechanism. There are 10 fins which pulls in cooler outside air and the little dark blobs that you see are balancing clay and it's used to balance the motors. The motor uses a single hollowed out steel shaft and at the top it measures 5 millimeters but gets smaller towards the bottom at just 3 millimeters. This motor uses the thickest gauge windings I've seen in any motor I've used. I did a little research online and found that the biggest benefit to having a thicker gauge wire is the ability to withstand higher temperatures, which is definitely a big positive, especially when it comes to brushless motors. In order to even further reduce weight, these motors really limited the casing material around the stator. I'm seeing this more frequently in recent motors. Some have even removed the casing entirely leaving only the material to mount the motors. It's really unnecessary to have protection around that area. The chances of just that area being damaged are low. Plus, without the casing, it's much easier to clean. Here's a quick thrust test I did on some of the more popular props right now. I made a cheap thrust stand out of some spare parts, so you're not going to get quad McFly level testing here. But it should give you an idea of how these motors perform.
not too bad, right? All three 5 inch props had a max thrust of just under 1200 grams. That puts it on the level of Emax's RS2205S at a much cheaper price. It's got same quality, same performance, similar styling, but 30 bucks cheaper. Definitely a bargain in my book. Thrust tests aside, to truly see how these perform, they need to be flown. So let's beam to the park and see how they feel. Exactly as I expected, smooth as butter and plenty of power, couldn't be more happy with them. To close things down, I gotta say, these are a great set of motors, superb quality, excellent performance, all at a great price. With that being said, thanks for watching and happy flying.